Hello, it's Orlando Caesar with another motivational monologue. There's a lot of tension in the air due to the recent killings of unarmed black men, and the focus is really on racism and the fact that it has existed for over 400 years uh, in, in, the, in our country and what can be done to eradicate racism and what can be done to make us anti-racist rather than non-racist. So I want to give you four words that I want you to ponder and to think about. As you know, I am a fanatic about words, and I like to look at words within words, because many times there is additional meaning we can get from the word that we can use in our everyday activities. The first word I'd like to use is power. We think about, we talk about, we're affiliated with and we're exposed to power every day. And for those who are in positions of power, or for those who have the power, if you look within the word power, you will see the word O, O-W-E. They have, and they owe it to us, to share that power so that more people can be involved with the power which they tend not to want to do. They want to keep it rather exclusive, but they owe it to us and they owe it to their constituents to share the power. And these are the individuals that we have to present to in order to get them to relinquish the power so that we can have the equity that's required to make this a, a better world. So first word, power. Within the word power is the word O, O-W-E. Second word is ostracism. If you look at the end of the word ostracism, you will see the word racism. And ostracism generally is a result of, or could be related to, racism. Where there is racism, there is a tendency to kick other people out. So you have outcasts, you kick people aside, you kick them to the curb. So where there is racism, ostracism is a result of that. So first word, power. Second word, ostracism. The third word I'd like you to think about is the word tragedy. With the events that happened over the last few months, and frankly, over the last 400 years, when you look at that, that is indeed a tragedy. And within the word tragedy is the word rage. People are angry. People are upset. People saw the video of George Floyd and they became incensed. So the rage is there and the rage has spilled over into the streets. And it's one thing about rage, when you have rage. Rage many times is not strategic. It does not say that long term as a result of this there will be change. It does not say that I am going to do something and uh, I am going to be aware of all of the consequences associated with it. So where there is rage and people act on that rage, there is destruction in many instances. So within the word tragedy, we have the word rage. But there is hope. And the fourth word is journey. Within the word journey is the word our. It is our journey. We need to be connected. We need to work together. We need to be on the same plane so that we can speak to power and change things. We need to make a difference in the world that we live in. We need to see racism for what it is, and we need to learn more about it, work together to ensure that we can't eradicate this. So by looking at the words within words, we will be able through our actions to make a difference. Now, this is Orlando Caesar, and you know I'm available at orlandocesar.com. There's more information about the books I've written, the comic strips I have, and the blog that I have. So, OrlandoCesar.com, I thank you very much for listening to this motivational monologue. Have a great day.